All right, we're here with Mark Levine, host of The Daily Snoop. The inside scoop. <laughs> I know. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Snowden and NSA you know, spying. So what's your take on all of this? Well, I've been arguing against this back uh, in, since 2004. So uh, you may know I used to work on the Judiciary Committee. Patriot Act. I actually wrote a tiny portion of the Patriot Act, but I wrote a good part, not the a bad part. part, a part that actually protected people's privacy that is no longer in the, the law that was taken out by the Republicans. But uh, basically, ever since we found out that the NSA was spying on 100 millions of Americans, right. which started in the Bush era, I've been complaining about it. Liberals have been complaining about it. Conservatives supported it. Now we find that Obama's doing it. Conservatives are complaining about it. I've and been consistent. You've actually been pegged as a conservative at points when you're on various other shows. Uh, that I have on RT, <laughs> on Crosstalk, for That's example. That's pretty funny. So what about the constitutional aspect of this? Well, the, the heart of it is this. What The violation... That's your personal copy of the Constitution? I carry it wherever I go. Good for you. And as you read the Fourth Amendment, it says very clearly the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated right. uh, except if you have a warrant, you have probable cause, you have reasonably if someone's committed a crime or terrorism, go but to court. Is, is the NSA technically, I'm just playing devil's advocate because I think we agree on this, but is the NSA technically violating the letter of the law? So if you have these presidential signing orders, if they're in compliance with the Patriot Act, um, how do we justify this? Well, because the presidential executive orders and the Patriot Act are all subject to the Constitution of the United States. So I, I actually think it's legal under statutory law, right. but that's not enough. It has to be legal under the Constitution. And as far as I'm concerned, you can't gather up even the metadata of all American citizens, because that's persons, papers, and effects. Right. That belongs to us, and you need to have a warrant before you do that. And what we've learned from the Washington Post today yes. is that uh, Edward Snowden was right. I mean, he's my new hero. He was absolutely right. There are no safeguards. And when when the president and his people said there were safeguards, either they were lying or they were misinformed. Right, and there was this recent report about in the WAPOS, as you said today, about this uh, new information coming out, and they're talking about typographical errors, but there were a lot more serious errors that were coming out, too. What are those? Well, there were 2,700 violations just in the branch that oversees the Washington, D.C. area, and there are lots of other branches. This is the heart of what Edward Snowden tried to tell us. He said that they were taking all our data. Well, those of us in the know kind of knew that was happening anyway. We, we had been exposed back in 2004. But more importantly, he said anyone can take a look at anything. And when they said that, well, the NSA said, it no, opens, no, no, that's not true. We need a warrant. It opens the door for insider trading even. Well, it <laughs> opens the door for a lot of things. And uh, he, when he said that, the administration hotly denied it. But now we know there's no oversight. And right. when President Obama said the FISA court would do oversight, now we find from the FISA court that they depend on the government for their oversight. Yes, it's ridiculous. I think there was one particular instance in which the, the NSA was snooping on people. They were trying to snoop on Egypt, which which the country code is 2 0. That's right. And accidentally, they just push in uh, 202, which is the Washington, uh, D.C. area code right here. That's correct. Well, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act does allow the United States to snoop on foreigners yes. and, and agents of a foreign power. But it doesn't allow them to snoop on American citizens because the Constitution prohibits that. Well, it turns out that they accidentally did snoop on American citizens. And even that would be okay if they would disclose it to Congress, to the higher ups, right. to the overseers. But they didn't disclose it. And that's the real problem. That's the problem Snowden tried to point out to us. So what's the resolution to all of this? The resolution is much, much better oversight. And how oversight do we get that, to Congress. Well, More one, regulations? Well, one, yes, absolutely. Okay. President Obama has proposed a, uh, something that I really think goes a long way, and that is to have a privacy advocate. In other words, you shouldn't just be able to go to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court and say, we're going after these guys. You've right. got an adversary proceeding. That's the way American justice works. Someone who argues, hey, maybe you shouldn't get that warrant, and then let the best argument win. I would Kind of like the Daily Duel. <laughs> I would say sometimes. Sometimes the Justice Department does not work here. But if you want to win today's show, be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prime interest. You can follow Mark here at Mark Levine Talk. You can follow me, of course, at English PI. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Daily Duel. Thanks, Bob.